Hey booktube, it's Kim at Middle of the Book March. This is my bookish week for July 17th. On the 19th, on Monday, I'm going to have a 14-year-old. <laughs> anyway, it's been a very quiet bookish week, so I don't have a lot going on. And in honor of that, uh, not a lot going on, I just wanted to have a, a quick chat with you after I show you what I finished about books with secrets. I finished one book, and it I can't talk about it because it's Red Comet by Heather Clark, The Short Life and Blazing Art of Sylvia Plath. This was for the BookTube Prize, so there's no conversation happening right now. Sorry. And I'm still reading, I'm currently reading the same stuff. Uh, George Eliot's Mill on the Floss and Jane Austen's Emma. That's it. Thank you very much. I'll be here till Friday. No. <laughs> so, quick thing. I just wanted to, to have a chat for a second because I saw, um, I don't even remember whose video I saw, but they showed a book and they took the hardcovers uh, slip not slipcase, but um, the jacket off and showed the naked hardback, which was gorgeous. So I thought to myself, there's a lot of books and typically hardcovers that have secrets underneath the jackets. So I, I kind of, I had a few that I knew of and I'll show you those, but I kind of looked around and I'm like, I wonder if any, any of the other ones that I have have a little something something underneath the covers. And I did find a couple more and I thought, this is really awesome. I don't regularly look at the naked hardbacks when I buy a hardcover. So I often miss this stuff. Uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. This one, I, this book I showed you um, a couple of weeks ago, I think it was in a book haul or it was in a tag where, you know, the, the last books or some of the books you just received the most beautiful books you either hauled or received. This was one of them, and it's The Foundling by Stacy Halls. The book itself is absolutely gorgeous. This The cover is just beautiful. And I did this when I showed you the book initially a couple videos ago. I'm really uncoordinated today. So this is the naked hardback, nothing special, right? But the spine has all the flowery, lacy artwork on it. It's so pretty. And I would never have seen that if I hadn't taken the dust jacket off. Um, and it's got really pretty end papers too. I showed you that as well. And I'm gonna take a second to put the dust jacket back on because if I don't, they will all get ruined, wrinkled, crushed, all of it. So bear with me as I go through this process. Another one that I found, this is a book by Marissa Silver called A Little Nothing. And this, I'm not gonna really get into the plots of the books. I'm just showing you the superficial stuff today. This is really pretty on its own because it's got gold foil all over it. And the cover has got that kind of a textury feel. And you know, I opened the book and there's nothing special about those end papers. And there, it's not like massive artwork or anything, but this one has this, the gold foil stamp of the author's initials on the naked hardback and it's just a regular spine. And this is kind of a low key, little secretive thing on the naked hardback. I just thought it was pretty. And I'm not sure if anybody out there who buys hardcovers, do you always leave the dust jackets on? Do you, I know that depending on the length of the book, I often take it off to read the book, but do you all leave them on when you store your book on bookshelves or do you take them off? There's been a few times I've wondered, you know, what would my bookcase look like if I took all of the jackets off of the hardcovers and just stored them and got rid of them? And it would still be quite a bit of color and quite a bit of aesthetic, aesthetic benefits, but it wouldn't be the same because I, I don't know, it would just be less detail and, and it would pop less. And fun fact, my daughter Clara, will take the covers off of hardcover books and she throws them away and it drives me it drives me crazy i can't stand the thought of that and we i used to take them and save them in a box in her closet so they wouldn't get wrinkled or crumpled or anything but she just 
doesn't want them on the books and she's got naked hardbacks all over the place oh, it drives me crazy this one is a woman is no man by etoff rum uh this i'm with brita bowler on this this isn't even a sticker it's stamped onto the cover you can't mm. so again it you open it and it's not it's just a white end paper pretty generic and this one is not you know especially gorgeous or anything but it has the publisher stamp right here and i think you can see that there you go and this is published by harper um and it's just their logo you know just their logo if you get a book of the month club book and take the cover off of it it has a stamp of the and i should have grabbed one i've got a bunch of them but i didn't it just has a stamp of the the month and the year that that book was offered. This one is Toni Morrison. It's Paradise by Toni Morrison. And um, again, it's it's pretty much just the author's initials in gold foil. Not a lot on the spine. And it's a nice, it's a nice book, black fabric, gold foil for the author's initials. I like that. I like when they do the gold foil thing. I think it's pretty cool. This one I've had for a while. This is Our Lady of the Forest by David Gutterson, Gutterson, however you pronounce his last name. And I kind of was looking around and poking around and I took the cover off. And this one has, it's embossed with the trees. Can you see that? And because the title is Our Lady of the Forest, I thought, oh, that is super cool. If you can, I think you can see that. I love when I take a cover off and I discover an embossing. I don't know why. And this is this is just stuff that is kind of cool, fun stuff when you buy a book. I'm going to get more into the habit of looking under the covers, so to speak. Uh, and it's not going to sway me whether to buy a book or not. Ultimately, it needs to be what the book is about, the content. But pretty books will always grab my attention until I read the plot and the summary and try to find out. Oh, okay. That sounds interesting and it's pretty. Bonus. This one I've talked about at length. This is Greenwood by Michael Christie. And there's not a lot going on with the naked hardback. Um, the cover itself is gorgeous because of this copper co colored foil. The ends, this isn't a secret because you can see this. This is the ends of the, the papers um illustration it's a book about trees and i showed you this before as well this is the table of contents the cross section of a tree with the years the secret that this book has and i hope this isn't a spoiler for anybody but v way in the back of the book um it's got this And if and when you read the book, you'll understand what that means. That's all I'm going to say. Now, some of the next ones, I have four more to show you. These are kind of the prettiest ones and the, mo the most unassuming. These little Macmillan Collector's Editions are just gorgeous in themselves. You know, I've, I've had so many people comment on these in the background of my videos when I sit in my dining room because I have several stacks of these little collectibles. The art on the outside is always beautiful. This this Tiffany blue um, cover, the gold foil. This is The Awakening by Kate Chopin. And, you know, the ends are gold. When you take end papers, when you take the cover off, this is just so pretty. It's that blue color, but it's embossed with this floral leafy pattern. It's so pretty. That's what's underneath the cover and again it's i go back and forth if i took all the covers off i would definitely regret it because i know there would come a point where i would want the covers back on but they're also protective and even if a cover is not that attractive if it's got pretty secrets underneath it protects the pretty book i have all of jane austen's novels uh, the collection of them in these old hardcover barnes and noble um collector's editions. This one is Northanger Abbey, and it's they all look the same. All of the 
dust jackets are a different color. This one happens to be kind of that maroon red. Uh, it's always got the an art piece of art on the front, which is I really like. It's really pretty. And it has the Barnes & Noble end papers on it. But if you take the cover off, the spine is the same co color as the cover. And again, it's the embossing. Let's see if I can get that. There you go. And these are really pretty because each of the spines are different colors and they've all got that embossing on the front of the naked hardback. I took off the cover when I was reading Jane Eyre because I also have that in this type of a, an edition. And that naked hardback is a lilac purple, very pretty. And I think I read that without the cover because it's a thick book. This one I just recently discovered. I just recently acquired Susanna Clark's Piranesi. And it's really pretty because it has foil and texture. This is copper co colored foil and really pretty end paper. Really nice. I am, almost always notice the end papers, but the, the naked hardback is really pretty. That's the spine. That's the back. The, the title of the book is spelled out. Let's see, yeah, gotta move my fingers. So that's such a pretty book. And I never would have noticed that. I think I was watching um, Susan's channel from Road Reads. I'm pretty sure she's the one that took the cover off and I realized that is so gorgeous underneath. And I'll link her channel below. The last one is one of the most gorgeous I've ever received or acquired. And you're not, there's no surprise. I've showed this book several times as well. This is Maggie O'Farrell's Hamnet. The cover itself is just beautiful. The gold foil, just the, the typography. Um, it's got some texture to it. Really pretty end papers. But the magnificence of this book is the naked hardback. You, got, you put gold foil on it, I'm in. I'm in for life. Um, gold foil on the spine for the title. But it's just so pretty. Um, and I love this type of lazy floral plant. There's a rabbit in here. There's an owl hiding in there. And there's a lot of, let me see if there's any more little animals. I found a rabbit and an owl. That might be it. The rest of it is um, floral, leafy, lacy design. So that's the prettiest that I have. And that's it for me. It's a short one this week because, like I said, I finished one book for the BookTube Prize. Can't talk about it. I'm currently reading two books. And that's. I just thought I'd do a little chit-chat with something fun that I, that I realized and that I thought about. Let me know if you pay attention to those superficial aspects of hardcovers especially. And paperbacks uh, not very often have those, those little surprises. Uh, I love when I pick up a paperback and it has French flaps and deckled edges. I, I've talked, I, I'm probably rambling and being so repetitive because if you've watched my channel, you all know that I'm a sucker for foil. So that's it for me. Let me know what you think. Let me know if the aesthetics, the big buzzword of a book is, um, is fun for you or pleases you in some way. Let me know if you've read any of these books. I've read half of the ones that I showed you. And that's about it for me today. I hope you have a great weekend and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everybody.